I scare you? Happy Halloween! Ooh. That's right. It's Halloween time. Ooh, spooky, scary season. One of my favorite times of the year. Oh, but what are we doing today for a Halloween video? Well, when you think of Halloween, you think of brights and fire and evil, spicy. What we've got today, we've got burdock, burdock, fire, fire chicken. And to go along with our burdock, we have burdock, bokkumyeon, very spicy ramen. But there is a twist. I could not find the hek burdak ramen, but I could find the hek burdak sauce. Now this is the uh, times two spicy version of this ramen. We're going to be adding this sauce to this ramen. Today's video is a very spicy challenge video. I'm going to eat both of these, no milk, no drink, nothing, along with the sauce, and you will see me add the sauce. And I'm going to attempt to eat these with no drinks, no problem, no problem. We're gonna get this, we're gonna eat this. And uh, for everyone out there, I highly encourage you, this is gonna be a great, great spicy challenge. Burudak and Burudak Bokumyeon. Oh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's dig into it. Oh, Pumpkin Man can't eat. Welcome back, guys. Was that a little too scary? Pumpkin Man came and we gave us a visit for the Halloween season. But as he did say, we are going to be eating some burdak and burdak bokumyeon. Uh, this stuff, by the way, uh, so the ramyeon was invented a couple of years ago. I don't know exactly when, but the chicken was invented thereafter, kind of because of this uh, burdak flavor, as I know it. I thought the chicken came first, but uh, I guess the noodles came first. So this is my own homemade mixture of burdak. I did make this as spicy as possible. I did not go and hold back with the spicy or anything. Uh, but yes, this was a homemade version of burdak. But let me go ahead and add this sauce to the ramen for all of you on camera because I want to I want you guys to see. Oh, it's got one of those uh, one of those plastic things we got to deal with. All right. Just realized I didn't have my handy dandy mic. That might uh, that might help with a little bit. Ah, where were we? Sauce. Okay. Putting it on the ramyun. Oh, this is nice, nice drizzle on there. This is going to be hell. I like how it's categorized as heck because it is heck. I did add a nice little egg in there because I figured, since I'm eating ramen, I might as well add a little egg in there to make things just a little bit tastier. Um. But it smells absolutely wonderful. Let's see. Woo! Woo! Smells spicy. Here we go, guys. I will finish all of this on screen for you. So let me go ahead and dig into my burdock first. Mmm. Mmm. That was a very nice flavor. Mmm. <clears throat> a little spicy. So for those of you who don't know, burdak is very simple to make. It's just chicken breasts. You can shake chicken thighs if you want. Soy sauce, garlic, ginger. Of course, these have to be fresh, not powdered. Some rice syrup. You can substitute the rice syrup with honey or sugar, but I think the rice syrup works better. I've substituted with honey before. I think it just works better with rice syrup, to be honest. A little bit of black pepper. And, uh, oh yes, of course, the spices. Gochukaru, which is red pepper flakes. And gochujang, which is the red pepper paste. And a little bit of uh, olive oil. You can use any kind of oil, really. Just a dash of that. Mix that all together with your hands. Wear some gloves, obviously, so you don't get all the red stuff on your hands. Mix that all around. Put in a pot. You're good to go. Now, but the bird that comes with, the, the bird means fire, so this chicken originally was, like, it's cooked over, like, a grill or a barbecue. That's originally how it gets that fire taste. 
not just from the spice. But you can also add some mozzarella cheese on top as well. Some, um, like, obviously you take this chicken, you cook it up, put it in the oven or broiler with some cheese on there. You got some cheese brudak. Um, now I got this recipe from Mangchi. That's M-A-A-N-G-C-H-I. I'll put the her link. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady who does a lot of different Korean recipes. That's who I followed for this recipe. Mm. God, the chicken is so good. All right. Let's get into the, the ramen. Get a nice... Ooh, I'm kind of scared. Ah. Ooh. Not as bad as I thought it'd be, to be honest. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. Hmm. It is spicy, don't get me wrong. It is very, very spicy. I do have some tissues on standby. That's what I need to get. Ugh. Woo! Oh my god, that really kicks you in the tongue. Woo! But it's so good. Oh. Uh, my chicken might actually be less spicy than this ramen. And I put a lot of gochukaru in here. I think I put like about a cup. No. Yeah, maybe a cup or more of the uh, gochukaru in here. And about a cup and a half of gochu, gochujang. <laughs> All right, but it's not a challenge unless I actually do it, right? Ooh. Mm. Uh, but a little secret though, for you guys, I'm really mad at myself because. As I was making this, I dropped the noodles, like an idiot. I dropped the noodles on the sink, so I had to get new noodles for this. I can't believe I dropped noodles. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love spicy food. I love Halloween. This stuff's amazing. Oh, you guys see me shaking my uh, my chopsticks a lot. I know why. I often do that whenever I'm eating. I think I'm just oh, so in love with the food that I tend to shake my hand a lot whenever I eat good food. I'm just like, yes, it's so good. Mmm. I'm pretty proud of my cooking, to be honest. The bird dog came out very nicely. This stuff will clear your nose. Holy crap. Oh my god. Heck, man. Flipping heck. Woo -hoo. Oh, so good. Oh, I gotta get some more of my chicken. Let me actually eat more of my chicken. Because I'm almost done with this. I want to put the sauce that's in here in the, uh, in the ramen. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it is hot. That's so good. 
Oh, God. God, that flavor of the brew dog. Oh, my God. It's so good. Mm. The secret, guys, is a little bit of MSG. I've got a bag on uh, of MSG handy. Always got to add that to my cooking. Mmm. God, even though it's so spicy, it's still so good. Mmm. Mmm. I think the thing that makes spicy really hard to handle, though, is when it's hot. Hot and spicy, that's hard. Luckily, my food is not like. Boiling hot right now. Mm. Mm. I wish you guys could like try some of my burdock. It's so good. I'm in love with this recipe. As I said, um, I did get the recipe from someone else, so I highly recommend checking her channel out. Um, she does, yeah, she has a YouTube channel. She's got a, a website uh, for all her recipes and stuff like that. So if you guys want to know how, how to do some Korean cooking or get interested in Korean cooking, highly recommend her. Almost all the Korean cooking I've ever learned and ever started to do was be, was because of her. Um, Meishir, uh, I'm making Meishir, uh, Meishir chong, like Meishir, uh, like uh, plum syrup, kimchi, everything, everything learned from her. All right, we're almost done with the chicken. Hmm. Oh, so good. I actually don't want to finish the chicken. It's so good. Oh. Hold on. Add the bits to what's left of the, um, As much as we can of it. As I added a little bonus, I'm going to top off. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm crazy. Only a few bites left to go. There we go. Oh, it's still so good. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Come here. Give me all the bits. That's clean. And that's challenge well done. That's a success. <coughs> Woo! I'm feeling pretty hot, which is fine because it is cold, very cold outside. So uh, feeling warmed up like this is, uh, ooh, good times. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
Uh, I know it was, it was rather quick, but I wanted to do something like this for Halloween. There's not much we can do outside for Halloween these days. So uh, in Korea, they don't really celebrate Halloween too much. They do. There's a lot of people that go to Itaewon, which is a very huge, popular drinking area. And that place is packed. I'm saying you can't even walk. That's how many people there are. And uh, obviously, I don't want to go there during this time What with what's going on right now. Oh, man, my throat is burning. Woo! Woo! Anyways, uh, yeah, they don't really celebrate too much. So I figured I'd do something like this at home. I would uh, recommend you try this if you dare. But if you're not a spice person, don't do it. Don't do what I did. I've seen people that have just had this one, no extra spice, nothing added, and they they were crying and sneezing and they couldn't even finish it. I'm someone who tends to tolerate spicy a little bit better, so I do not recommend. If you can eat this one by itself, do not, do not do what I did by adding the uh, heck burdak sauce. I wanted to find this ramyun, but a little harder to find compared to the other one, so... Uh, I'm glad I can find the sauce at least to uh, sauce it up for the normal uh, ramyun. So that's everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we're going to see our friend Mr. Pumpkinhead in uh, just a second. Glad to be back. That Kevin guy is pretty something for eating that spicy food. That was pretty crazy. I've seen some insane, evil, diabolical things in my days. But that... Good for him. He's a true Halloween spirit. If you want to show your Halloween spirit, why don't you give this channel a like or subscribe? That would be really, really part of the Halloween fun. So I, I really hope that uh, you do that. If you don't, I'm coming for you. Have a happy Halloween. <laughs>